Human narratives fall in one of two camps. You could tell the story from this perspective, which is I go to college, I get a degree, I am a lawyer. I use this because my best, one of my best friends in the world as a kid was, became a lawyer. This guy, I met him in the ninth grade. I was in the eighth grade, he was in the ninth grade. And I'm running for athletic director of the school because I want to change the program. And my grandfather said the best way to change anything is to get involved. So I get involved and um, I'm, I'm at this time, I have somewhat of a chip on my shoulder and I'm a disruptor in the school and they don't want me to be the athletic director. So on the Saturday night before the Monday of school, they changed the rules and I didn't get to know about it. I go in this guy's office, I go, Mr. Hunter, hi, I'm, uh, I'm here. Listen, um, here's my papers, okay? And, and he goes, I'm sorry, you don't qualify. I go, I don't qualify? He says, you don't qualify. We, you know, you have to have a campaign manager. And I said, well, it's not on the rules I have. He goes, well, we changed it last week. And so I start to wind up and I'm going after him and I'm, you know, I'm arguing with him. And all of a sudden this guy, five foot two, walks in and he goes, Mr. Hunter, uh, my name's John Rankin. I'm Dan Takini's campaign manager. I go, yeah, sure. John Rankin, yeah, he's my campaign manager. That's the ticket, sure. And so John sets them all up and we get outside, who the hell are you? He goes, I'm your lawyer. I go, you're in the ninth grade. He goes, what did I just do? I go, you're my lawyer. And literally, that's how he was. I mean, all through school, all through high school, he gets to college and we're in college and, and I'm, I'm going to, uh, I went to Notre Dame in Santa Clara for a while and then I went into drugs. <laughs> so I have a couple of universities. And every year at UCLA, we do this thing called the International Beer and Wine Tasting Contest and text, test and other things. And we, I would bring the other things and wine down from the north. And he would, you would get, and I'd get a band together and he'd get all his guys. And we'd had, the first one was a couple hundred people. And by the end time he's out of UCLA, we're doing two, three thousand people. And we're having a whole, it's a whole deal. So he goes through Southwestern, it's his last year of Southwestern. I call him and say, John, I got Maria Mulder this year. You know, she's coming down, blah, blah, blah. We're all excited. And he goes, no, nah, I'm not doing it. I go, what do you mean? You're the MC. What do you mean you're not doing it? No, you got to do it, Dan. It's okay. I got the bar coming up. I can't wait. I go, bam, bam. And bounce the phone off the thing. He goes, John, this is Dan. Can you hear me? He goes, yeah, I can hear you. He goes, wine, women, weed. And then he says back, Bar exam. <laughs> He's over here on this side. Be, do, have. He's just, he's just doing it because it's who he is. Over here, if you look at it, what do you see? Everything's about me. I take all this, all I do, all I have to validate me, my identity. So what do I, what's the experience going to be over here when I live my life? Am I going to want to give? No. no. Because I, it's like giving myself away. And what happens like if I have a family, I have a wife and kids, and how close am I going to want to get to them? Because if they don't show up the way I need them to show up, then I'm not who I say I am. So what kind of pressure am I, what do you think this experience is of living? It's scarce, man. This is the, this is the definition of scarce, and it doesn't matter how much you have. Over here, though, it's a, it's a whole different, the funnel goes this way. It's all coming out of me. It's all flowing out. And that's how John was with being a lawyer. I, anybody who's got a mission, a vision in life is like this, right? They're just, they've, they've got lots of energy and, and this is, it's flowing out of them, right? Here you get exhausted. Here you're, you, you get spent, but you regenerate quickly. You can listen to people's stories and you can hear where they're coming from. So that's one of the filters I'm listening through. It's like, how much of this is this person's identity? How much is this an expression of who they are? So and here I'm protective, defensive, frightened, scared. Here I'm generous, learning, open. I want to see how I can get what's here out here in a way that's effective like that.